On this episode of Still Loading, number two. Hey guys, this is Josh, and welcome back to the newest episode of Still Loading. Uh, today, I have my brother Mike back with me. Greetings. Uh, today, uh, continuing the 40 for 40 series, which I, as I described in the previous episode, is uh, me blind testing a lot of, well not blind testing, but blind running a lot of these games. Some of them I've played before, but some of them I, a lot of them I have not. So today's game is Arch Rivals, a basketball brawl? Is that brawl. what it is? A basket brawl. Based <laughs> on the arcade smash. So, I've never played this game before. Some of you Neither probably would kick me in the teeth for not knowing this, but <clears throat> for not Ooh, playing it. Who would know this? Well, there's a, it was a popular arcade game. Okay. Hence, by the box uh, art. Uh, I mean, I don't know how far. Okay. But, um, so, the, let's, the, for, as we did with the last episode, I liked, I'm gonna, let's talk about the box art here. So, first off... Um, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It looks... I saw a comment on... Um, on one, on, or some, one of the books I was reading about the Nintendo library, and it says it's very Mad uh, Magazine style, and I would agree with that. It looks a yeah. lot like Mad Magazine art. Uh, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Well, you see the one guy, so the guy who has the ball, or who just, lo- just got punched in the face and <laughs> lost the ball. Um, you see the guy grabbing his shorts... Yeah, yeah, he's no, that's... Abs- inordinately happy with it. <laughs> he's and just I'm gonna see like, some right butt. At the dude's butt, and he has this, <laughs> this evil smile. He's like, I'm and gonna see some butt. He's like, like, oh, 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 oh look what I got! Oh. And I don't like it at all. And then it, there's a dude way in the back who's hanging on like the basketball net. You see him? Yeah, he looks like a Harlem Globetrotter with like, yeah, he's like, but he looks scared. He doesn't look confident like a Globetrotter would. You know, he has this big smile, but it's eyes are terrified. Yeah, he's like, I don't know why I'm doing he's this. Like, <laughs> and that, like, where, like, a laugh devolves into crying. That's kind of fancy. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Well, <clears throat> what's even weirder is that the guy pulling the pants down is, like, creepy enough, but the guy immediately to the right of him, he's going, like, a hoo 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 <laughs> like, 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 I'm gonna get to see some, too. Like, he sees what the guy's doing, he's like, oh, I've been waiting. But, at the same, but, oh, to comment, oh, to, like, to be fair, this picture perfectly encapsulates it does. or encapsulates or in, like embodies the game. It perfect. So we just finished playing this, and it's, it is insane. But it's, it's really, really fun. Like I didn't expect to have this much fun with this game. I was thinking, all right, I'm not a big like sports game game kind of guy. Like I like uh, I like you know the shoot 'em ups and the yeah. platformers and stuff. But this was really fun, and just the fact that the the well, I'm assuming that's Mohawk as we saw with the yeah. one character. They all had Green different names. Mohawk. He's punching the other dude in the face, and like that's exactly what yeah. this game is. And the dude it's getting insane. punched in the face is has his foot stomped on top of some other dude who just looks like a mess. And he's got a lot of facial hair. The dude who's a mess, like he looks like a bad five o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if the GW say so if you follow that five o'clock shadow dude's face over to like down his hand, there's a signature of a GW there. Do you uh, see it on the box? Yeah, there? yeah, I see it. I wonder. I wonder who if that was the artist or not. I Maybe. Don't know. Be something to find Good out. Good old G dubs. So this was released by Acclaim. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's Acclaim. They did a lot of games. Um, it's a basketball game where basically you there's no such thing as fouls. You just punch other players into submission. It's amazing. And so we played both the single player and the two player. Mm. Single player is pretty much the same thing as the two player. You can't play cooperatively. It is competitive. Yeah. But I won't lie. It's an immense amount of fun. It's really fun. Well, and what makes it really fun, like the basketball aspect is fine, you know, that's that's entertaining enough, but you punch people. And, but it's satisfying. Yeah, it's not like, just a gimmick. Well, th- it's there's really this fun. wonderful sound of it. There's a... I, I can't even recreate it, but it's... Oh, God, it's fun. And, and like, each time, like, you, you can't help but laugh at it because, like, he, 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 these people just get decked. 
It's it's fantastic. Well, all right. So the the manual here, this is exactly what it says. It might look like basketball, but take a closer look. Didn't that player just floor an opposing player with a well telegraphed right hook? And what about, <laughs> and what about that guy over there? Isn't he pulling down his opponent's shorts? This isn't just basketball. It's basket brawl. Sure, sure, you need to show off your basic b-ball skills as well. But this game is far more challenging, and exciting than. Just that. So come on, lace up, grab a ball, and hit the court with Tyrone, Vinny, and the rest of the arch rivals. Um, it's it's crazy. I well, and, if- well, and, well and that reminds me. Let me read the back of this the box here because it says a similar thing. The full court action between this arch rival. between the arch rivals is really hot tonight. Here's Mohawk taking it to the hoop. Pow! He just got nailed in the alley with a right cross. Foul! 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 What? No foul? That's right, no foul. This is basketball. We're breaking the rules. It's part of the rules. If you can't block a shot, knock your opponent's block off. And and, and it goes on. Oh my god, you're peeking this everywhere. (laughs) uh, Yeah, I I, I, kind of figured as Um, I was doing it. I tried to turn down the gain a little bit. Hopefully that'll fix it. But, um, okay, so... I have to affect them. Um... No, th- this game was really good. I yeah, was, I'm really no. surprised. The controls were surprisingly surprised. solid. Yeah. Um, what is interesting is that you control not only your character, but your teammate as well, sort of. Yeah, you kinda. can't really control his movement, but you can control when he shoots or when he passes. passes yeah. And it's the same controls as you. B is pass, A is shoot. Yeah. And then you can also, when you don't have the ball, A is jump, so you can you know hot, like do an alley-oop or something like that. That is yet to benefit me. But it did for me once, but we were we just really kind of messed around with it. A lot of it kind of happened by accident. It's like, oh, I did that. How did that? Okay. So here, here we go. This actually gives you um, defensive moves. To jump, press the A button. To steal or punch, hold down the B button. Face your opponent, then release the B button. To lunge, hold down the B button and a. And tap the A button. Oh, we didn't try that. Oh, shoot. Okay. To grab a rerun, get to the ball before anyone else. For offensive moves, with the ball, you press A to shoot, B to pass. To fake out, hold down the B button, and then hit A. Oh, they, to tell a teammate to shoot, press the A button. To tell a teammate to pass, press the B button. To grab a rerun, jump by pressing the A button. So, yeah, uh, you do have to jump. There are so many things I had no idea. Okay. Interesting. So ready. So here are the character names of the player profiles of the arch rivals. Right. You have Tyrone, Tyrone. Benny, Hammer, Hammer. Moose, <laughs> Lewis, Blade, Mohawk, Reggie, and Reggie. Um, so they have little bios. Like all of these ridiculous names, and then these Lewis. feel like the Halo default names, like yeah. Howard and the Bear, <laughs> yeah. the Big L. Um, yeah. So here we go. Player pro Tyrone. When this guy. Blocks the lane. He really blocks the lane. This is all in quotes. The blocks the lane so it's all in quotations. No one gets by to him without first receiving an elbow or a fist in the face. For Vinny, they don't come much better than Vinny. He's got great ball handling abilities. <laughs> uh, he's a real hit with the gentleman, if you know what I'm saying. Can um, I read one next? Yes. Cool. He's a real team player. It sounds too good to be true. All right. Who do I want to read? Vinny? All right. Hammer. I've always liked Hammer. Hammer. This guy can nail them from anywhere on the court. But you take a pounding when the challenge... But you take a pounding when you challenge him under the boards. Uh. (laughs) Moose. He might not be the youngest or quickest guy on the floor, but sometimes experience makes all the difference. Don't forget, he led his team in scoring three seasons in a row. Good for Moose. Yeah, good for Moose. No, not Lewis. Lewis is my buddy because out of all these people with their ridiculous names, and there's just some guy named Lewis. I like it. He's he, he's a rebel. He doesn't. He conforms to the norms that the others refuse. To. Lewis, Mister Technique, Mister Smooth, Mister Moves. His mother is the only one who still calls him Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, does he hate when she does. Wow, what, I like how they give. I like how that's like. A, it's not about his skill level. It's just like you know, that's just what he. That's like just by it. the way, his mom calls him Lewis. Lewis, Blade. The fans love him, and so do the cheerleaders. Oh, oh my! He's the original hot. He's the original shot maker slash heartbreaker. 
not a bad guy to have as your teammate, especially when his admirers are too many for him to handle alone. Mohawk, this is the... Mohawk, God God bless him. This maniac doesn't care who he has to run over as long as he runs to the hoop. Don't mess with his hair, though, or he'll hand you his own type of technical foul. And finally, Reggie. Reggie. He was the all-stars all-star at one time, but that was ten years ago. He still has the quote-unquote touch, though he could probably... Though he could... Uh, he still has a quote-unquote touch, though, and could probably sink him with his eyes closed. And it sometimes looks like he tries. What? <laughs> oh, he tries to sink him with his eyes closed. I'm like, that was just weird how it worked. Oh, and for those listening, I had mentioned to Josh, uh, Reggie looks a lot like Donald Trump. <laughs> and I just want to throw that out there, because in the game's description, he was described as all-American, so I found that very funny. That's kind of... Anyway... That's... Does he really look like... Let me look at their artwork. I think... He, I mean, in he, there he did. I don't he know. He does in, a little bit in that. I mean, look at that. Like, they give, like, these uh, these badly done sketches in the Like manual. caricature, almost. Yeah, these weird well, Yeah, because Reggie has, like, this, this floofy blonde hair, and he's really tan. So... Yeah. Trump! Uh, so then, yeah, so... The, the... Like, I can't tell you how many times... We found it music just punching each other. It was so funny. And what's even great is like <laughs> when you go on defense. So after you score a bat, you mm-hmm. get a basket, and your the other team gets the ball. You <laughs> you just wind up. You just press and hold. And, and just wait <laughs> and for like. There was one moment when we first started getting our strategies in that you're just like standing there with dribbling the ball, and you just I'm at the edge of the screen just waiting my punch, and <laughs> we're just like playing a game of chicken, and like who's going to go first, you or am I going to punch you? Oh, and and then like you just toss the ball like almost off screen, and then the second it gets to your player, there's someone else right there in their face, and pfft, they deck them. And oh. it's funnier when both you and your because te- you can't control your teammate when yeah. they don't have the ball. Right. So it's really funny when you you and your teammate both deck the other players. Like so, both of them, both of the other team is out at the same time. Um, it is a 2v2. I guess we didn't say that. Um, mm-hmm. Basketball rules are relatively the same other than the foul stuff, you know. Yeah. And I don't know Two about, dri- like I don't know about traveling. Et but... Yeah. Well, f- I don't think it'll let you travel. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's pretty, it's really entertaining. Like, I yeah, thoroughly I was pleasantly surprised. Um, some of the other things in the menu, there's one other pair, like section here. It's like, it won't take long to figure out that this is not finely tuned professional basketball we're talking about here. Yes, Arch Rivals has highly skilled teams in colorful uniforms, and yes, it even has emotional coaches and bouncy, energetic cheerleaders. Is that like a comment on their breasts? I think... Because there was a little bit of cleavage in this. I, it was yeah, a, like it felt a little cleavage. uncomfortable. Two bleavage. Two bleavage? Two bleavage. Two bleavage. Two bleavage. Two bluff. I mean, it's someone playing cards, and he cheated. Liar! Sorry, anyway. So, but on the back of the box, I just read this. So, like, where I left off was, you know, um, if you can't block a shot, knock your opponent's block off. The next sentence is, if you can't steal the ball, steal his shorts. <laughs> I really... But don't <laughs> think these tactics are enough to win. Oh, God. Well, what's weird is, like, they say this in the in the first thing I read, too, that, like, you can, like, steal your, like, pull your opponent's shorts down. Maybe I don't that, know. We didn't maybe, see that at No, all. maybe that's when we were tripping, because there were times where, we were, like, we fell, but well, there was nothing. There, there no, was people throwing yeah, stuff. Yeah, but there were times where, like, I fell, and there was no one there, and I definitely did not get punched. Well, no, no, there, and, there was stuff no, on no, the floor. No, I, no, I, I meant, like, there was nothing on the, on the floor, because oh. sometimes you trip over the ref, and sometimes there would be stuff on the floor you trip over. But no the, one pulled, the, if no one was there, how would they have pulled your no, pants No, sorry. Around? By no one, I meant there's no one for me to trip over. There uh, was a basketball player there. I just didn't get punched. Well, there, but people threw stuff on the floor. Yeah, but there wasn't anything on the floor at that point. Like, there was nothing there, just another player, and then I fell. But okay, no, but no okay. punching. Well, you kept, saying, you kept mixing up people I and know. things, well, and I'm no, just like, well, so no, because, which one is it? Because I kept tripping over the ref as well, for whatever uh, reason. It's weird that you can do that. <laughs> that's why I said no people there, but yeah, no. Um, an, an opposite player was there. Did my phone just... Restart? Who knows? That's weird. But, oh, and let's yeah. not forget those basic fine points of the game, like shooting, passing, rebounding, and all-around ball control. It's got all of that as well, but that doesn't have. But what it, it doesn't have is fouls. You'll never see a player at a foul line since the ref probably never sees the players at all. <laughs> His eyesight is so bad that when he runs up and down the court, all he really does is get in the way yep. and trip up the players. That's just what a- you said. <clears throat> 
Uh, actually, this guy wouldn't know an uppercut from a pick and roll if it hit him in the chin. Hit him on the chin, which it does occasionally. No, this certainly isn't professional basketball, but who needs all of those silly rules and regulations anyhow? This is a much more this is much more fun. So let's get the brawl rolling. Oh I see what they did there. <laughs> With a near sighted ref taking out the backboard and your opponent is all part of the game. Oh, so on the main screen you could like press the B button and it changes the team. So we kept playing for the same team, but if you hit B it changes the team colors. That's interesting. Um, but anyway, so yeah, the game overall was just, I, I'm surprised. Like, yeah, I'm right. really surprised. Because it kind of looked like crap. <laughs> yeah, it did. The music, we could talk about the music, though. The music, the music was, was interesting. It was fun. It was very rhythmic. Yeah, yeah there wasn't a whole lot uh, melodically to it, but but yeah, no, it was just, and it's all you really needed. Just mm-hmm. like, dun, dun, dun. It didn't. I don't remember exactly how it went, like, but yeah, it, it had a very loose sense of of melody or pitch to it. And it did. It never really got annoying either. So. No, no. Oh, excuse me. Like I, I, I got used to it. You know, just it, it made sense. Um. Yeah, no, I like the music was surprisingly fun, and when we first turned it on, the little like you said, the din 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 din, din or however yeah, the melody I don't, rhythm. I, 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 I actually don't even remember how it went. At all, but uh, I it, like I was confused because like the volume was a little low on my yeah. TV, so I thought I'm like, what, what's that sound in the background? But it was just these little blips yeah. from the game. But it was effective. Um, overall, I mean, the, the, unfortunately, there's not much to say about the game. We kind of went through the box art. We talked. The game there's is only just so much you can do. Yeah, I mean, the game's a simple basketball game. You punch people. You know, You're like you have a good time for about a half hour and call um, it a day. Yeah, it was overall really, really fun. Um, so I definitely suggest it. I mean, there's not much more to it. It was just it's a fun basketball game where you can punch the shit out of everybody. Yeah. And we had a lot of like. I can't tell you how many times we just lost it with just some oh, of the stuff God. that would end up happening. The noises I was making. <laughs> um, I guess to wrap this up then, uh, Michael, what would you rate it overall? Like out of five? Sure. Out of five, um... Two, um, two things. For s- s- strict just fun and enjoyment, like 3.5 or 4. Mm-hmm. For like actual quality of a game like probably two for fun i actually would put it out of four i agree maybe yeah. 4.5 if i'm feeling a little bit yeah. generous but like i've seen other reviews of this game and it's not like that well received but i also think that maybe this wouldn't hold up well like we were we yeah. were amused by the the absurdity of it but maybe if we pop this in now that we know what it is it won't be yeah. as enjoyable well and maybe if we attempted to play it for an hour yeah you know I mean, I was still enjoying it for, like, the 40 minutes we played, but... Yeah, and I had... I mean, it was probably, like, a half hour, I think, but, like... And I enjoyed what we did, but, like, I can't picture myself going back to that, you know? Yeah, yeah. More than once or twice. Um, I guess for me, I would, you know, give about 4.5 out... 4.4 mm-hmm. 4 to 4.5 for on the fun scale on the actual quality of a game. Um... Textures were pretty boring. Yeah. Uh, the set music department was really lacking, but it worked. It wasn't yeah. bad. Like, it was less is better in this case. Yeah. And it was fun. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably give it a 2.5 yeah, on fair. that. Uh, that pretty much wraps it up. The last thing I do want to say, though, is I thought this was amusing. But still looking at the manual, they're advertising the game NARC on the back of it. <laughs> and if I wanted to still, I, still, I have this game co- complete in the box. It has... A NARC t-shirt offer. I wonder if this oh, thing's still valid. Probably not. Probably not. But Can't I can get... to find out. <laughs> I can get... Uh, there's acclaimed t-shirts. You can get the Quirk t-shirt, the NARC t-shirt, or the acclaimed t-shirt for eleven ninety five, Or the acclaimed cap for seven ninety five. Mm. One size. Who doesn't want one of those? But if you cut out this offer, you literally ruin part of the manual. <laughs> Like, it's not, like, something extra. In any case, the game was fun. Yeah, I definitely real. would give it a shot. Um, last week was Abadox. This week is Archon. Or, uh, Freudian Slip. Next week is Archon. I guess since I already said it. Wow, Arch wow. Rivals is, uh, this was this Arch week, as we said. Uh, but you have to see what's after Archon. So, thank you all for listening. Uh, sorry it's thank a shorter you. episode, but, I mean, there really wasn't much to say. Uh, so, I will see you next time. Make good choices. Good to see ya. <laughs> Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-